In this video, we'll compare WordPress versus Blogger to help you make an informed decision on which is the best blogging platform for you. Specifically, we'll evaluate how they compare in terms of getting started, pricing, design and customization options, and features. There are a number of blogging platforms at your disposal, and we'll reveal how you should make your decision to ensure you get the best return on both your time and money investment. So stay tuned to learn more. We've created a blog post that goes into a little more detail that you can access on the Oakland blog at oaklandohklyn.com forward slash blog. We'll add a direct link to the post in the description below. We'll also include a link to each platform so you can learn more about each content management system or CMS. Let's get to it and compare Blogger versus WordPress. Blogger is a free online blogging platform created by Pyra Labs back in 1999 and was later acquired by Google in 2003. You can set up a free blog, which is hosted by Google as a subdomain of blogspot.com. Alternatively, you can purchase your own domain for a fee. It was one of the first mainstream blogging platforms and played a big part in the acceptance and accessibility of blogging. Over time, it has stayed true to its roots, catering exclusively to the blogging niche. It's one of the easiest platforms to use and the process of getting started is lightning fast. Blogger takes care of all the background processing necessary to host your blog, leaving you with the task of coming up with great content to publish. What is WordPress? WordPress started in 2003 as an elegant and well-architectured personal publishing tool. From its humble beginnings, it has grown to become one of the biggest blogging and website platforms in the world, powering more than a quarter of all sites online, from hobby blogs to Fortune 500 companies. WordPress first and foremost is a quality content management system, or CMS for short. A CMS makes it easy to create and publish content online through a simple WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get interface. It is open source, which means that no single group owns it, and it is free for the public to use, modify, or improve. WordPress has two versions, WordPress.com, which is a hosted version and comes with some restrictions, and WordPress.org, which is a self-hosted option leveraging the WordPress software. We will focus on WordPress.org. The biggest difference between these two platforms is control. Blogger creates a safe but restrictive environment for blogging, whereas WordPress opens up the world of possibilities, which can be both a positive and a negative. In the following sections, we'll explore the process of getting started, pricing, design and customization, and features for each platform. The objective being to give you a clearer understanding of the real differences between them, as well as illustrate how each of these platforms work. So let's take a closer look at getting started with Blogger versus WordPress. It really couldn't be any easier to start your blog using Blogger. The only prerequisite is that you have a Google account. If you have signed up for Gmail, then the good news is you already have a Blogger account. Head over to blogger.com, sign up or log in, and you can immediately create your blog. You then choose a template, upload some content, and begin customizing the look and feel of your blog. When you're ready, publish your content and you're away. You can also purchase a custom domain from within the platform. When compared to Blogger, getting started with WordPress will take a little more work. That being said though, it's relatively straightforward. Firstly, you will need to purchase your domain and set up your hosting account. We would recommend Bluehost, who will include a free domain. Follow one of our step-by-step -step tutorials on the Oakland website or YouTube channel, where we walk you through setting this up with either Bluehost, Dreamhost, or WP Engine. We'll provide discount links in the description below. The video we'd recommend for setting up your WordPress blog is our how to set up a WordPress blog video, which we'll link to in the description below. Once you have your domain and hosting ready to go, you have two options, either install WordPress via your hosting provider's one-click WordPress installation feature, as we do in the tutorial we just mentioned, or you can install WordPress manually on your domain or in your local environment by downloading the WordPress software from wordpress.org and following the instructions in the readme.html file. The round one verdict, given how easy it is to get started with Blogger, this round undoubtedly goes to Blogger. However, the step-by-step -step tutorials provided make getting started with WordPress very easy. Let's review Blogger versus WordPress in terms of pricing. The biggest advantage of Blogger is that it's completely free. You do not have to pay to use the service. It comes with free themes and features. And as you can host your blog on the platform, you don't need to worry about hosting, SSL certificates, or purchasing a domain. You will unfortunately sit with a URL that is a subdomain of Blogspot. For example, myblog.blogspot.com. However, you can purchase your own domain if you like. Let's look at WordPress. WordPress itself is free to download and install. But before you get too excited with all these free blogging platforms, remember, while using WordPress is free, hosting your site is not. As we explained before, WordPress.org is self-hosted, which means it's up to you to get a hosting provider, buy an SSL certificate if you want to take credit card payments, and purchase a domain name. To learn more, follow the links to the hosting providers in the description below, or check out one of our free tutorials. 
We have put together a full breakdown of the costs in our how much does it cost to make a website with WordPress article on the Oakland blog. The verdict? Free is incredibly hard to beat, and because of that, Blogger narrowly wins this round. However, there is a real difference between price and value. If you're considering starting a blog as a serious and even commercial endeavor, you'll want to invest in the platform that the industry pros use, which is WordPress. Let's take a look at Blogger versus WordPress as far as design and customization options go. First of all, Blogger has a very limited set of themes to choose from. There are 50 free themes available and no third-party marketplaces. The themes themselves aren't the best quality and can't compete with some of the other themes available on WordPress, especially those produced by the top premium WordPress theme providers. You can, however, edit a theme in Blogger almost any way you wish. Although the technical capabilities are much more limited than the open source sandbox that is WordPress, you can mess around with the HTML, CSS, and script if you've got the skills. What about WordPress? Well, this is the home ground of WordPress, and very few other platforms can compete in this category. Because WordPress is open source, there is a huge community of contributors who create themes, plugins, widgets, and other tools to improve the design and customization options for your blog. The sheer amount of themes, widgets, designs, and customization options are still unrivaled. WordPress itself has almost a thousand free themes, and there are many providers and marketplaces who offer a countless number of third-party themes. Check out our best WordPress theme providers and marketplaces article to explore this further. The verdict? WordPress is likely to trump any competitor in this space because of the size of the active community of designers and developers. This was an easy win for WordPress. Finally, let's look at Blogger versus WordPress in terms of features. Blogger might be a little lighter than WordPress, but let's not forget that it's a Google project and has been around a while. It's mature enough that it has a decent set of features and most of what you'll need to create a blog is catered for, including things like Google AdSense account integration, easy customization options, and widgets or gadgets, Google's in-house widgets. For the full list, check out the Oakland blog post. As you'll see, Blogger has all the most important features. The biggest difference between it and WordPress is that you can expect a wider variety and range of choices in just about every aspect of WordPress. As you can expect from an open source platform as big as WordPress, it comes with a huge range of features. To an extent, many features depend on the theme that you use or the additional plugins you integrate into your site. Bottom line, for pretty much whatever you think of, there is either a plugin that does it or you can find a developer who can put it together for you. Some of the out of the box features include e-commerce, social media integration, contact forms, plus much, much more. The verdict, once again, it's a knockout win for WordPress. Okay, so let's bring it all together. As you can probably tell by now, these platforms are drastically different. Although WordPress is by far the more comprehensive option, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the best choice for everyone. If simplicity and ease of use are important to you and you're not wanting to build a brand or a business around your blog, then Blogger will be a great choice. However, for every other application, WordPress will be the way to go. WordPress is the industry standard and the choice for most professional bloggers. To wrap up, when is Blogger a better option than WordPress? One, when you have no web development experience and don't want any technical worries. Two, you want to get your blog up and running quickly without any fuss. Or three, you want a simple blog only experience. On the other hand, when is WordPress a better option than Blogger? One, when you have some level of web development skills or you are relatively savvy and comfortable following step-by-step -step instructions. Two, you have the time, money, and effort to invest in either starting up a WordPress site or employing someone to do it on your behalf. Or three, you have a long-term plan that may include expanding your blog to incorporate an online store or a number of other features. And that's our review of Blogger versus WordPress. We covered some ground and relatively quickly, but hopefully you feel more informed and able to make a better decision. If you like this video, hit the like button and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos related to blogging, digital marketing, and how to run a successful website. To get access to exclusive discounts, free tutorials, and to stay in the loop on the latest happenings, sign up to our newsletter at oaklyn.com. And until next time, happy blogging.